It's challenge time. Whoa! Okay, so we've kind of all been going through that COVID thing where we put on some weight, lost some weight, put on some weight. Well, I have too. I'm no different than you. I'm a human. Just like you, I assume. Uh, okay, now my, my challenge isn't that extreme. It's gonna be a 30 day workout challenge. I'm gonna track my sleep, track my exercise. I'm gonna cut out dairy as best as I can. Oh yeah, another thing I did was I gave up uh, fast food. Uh, I'm gonna try to get some good sleep. All right, so I'm starting this challenge at 204 pounds. I'm five foot 11 um, and I'm gonna see what I can get to. I'm not setting a specific goal that I want to get to. I just wanna lose weight, tone up a little bit um, and then see what I'm capable of doing in that time period. Now, rather than follow me around for a month, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a montage to this video. It's going to be quick. Oh, yeah, and another thing I forgot to mention. Don't call it a cop-out. I have a pinched nerve in my spine, a sciatica issue. So I can't really do ab workouts, and I can't really run. I'm on an elliptical now, low impact. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, here I am. I swear I know how to frame a shot. Okay, so like, uh, I didn't know how to go into the start of the montage, so I just went to here. You like my Christmas tree? It's December now. Anyway, okay, so the challenge is done. It actually has been done for a little bit now. This has been from the future, which when you watch this will be in the past. So I'm Ben from future past. Um, do I look slim? Don't look yet. You'll look at the end. So for now, let's go over exactly um, to recap what I did in the last 30 days. <gasps> okay. Okay, so there's three categories that kind of encompass all that I focused on. There is the diet, my uh, workouts, and then my lifestyle changes. I'm over here now. <sighs> One second. Okay, step one, diet. What did I do for my diet changes? Well, I was conscious of sugars, which I normally am too, but I kind of dialed them down, uh, especially for this. No fast food whatsoever, no sandwiches, no fries, no nuggets, no drinks, nothing. Absolutely no fast food. Uh, no dairy, cut out milk entirely. Everything that I would normally use with milk, I used uh, almond milk for. Not bad, I can't tell the difference. I didn't have any cereal, so it was more like just adding to my eggs or protein shakes or whatever. No alcohol whatsoever. Um, and portion control. It was one of those things where I was I was made aware or I was aware of what I was eating. So I, I didn't go overboard. I uh, ate. All right, so that was basically what I did for my diet. It was uh, generally healthy things. And I probably could have done a little better on my macros. Um, but it wasn't. I wasn't that worried about that. You know, I know that it's, it's mostly diet is what makes you lose weight. Um, but... Uh, Two workouts. What workouts did I do? Well, I logged them all on my phone. I did a, a combination of weight training and cardio work. There were days where I would do over an hour on a high intensity elliptical and I uh, said I burned like 900 calories in one sitting. That was pretty cool. Um, but for the most part, and two, again, I was combating my back problems, which I'm still having. I did up to two a days until I, earned, I, I did an elbow injury because I was working out too hard. And again, it was making my back not feel great. So I did cut down on the workouts on the second half, but the first half it was two days where I did. Uh... You okay, Bubba? And uh, part number three, I need that. So part three is my lifestyle changes. What did I actually do that changed my body dynamic other than working out and eating that led to weight loss? Well, one thing was fasting. I didn't eat after 7 p.m. at all. I had some teas and water and coffee. You know, I didn't have any anything to eat after seven. And I tried to start eating after 10. So it was like between 10 and seven was I did all my eating. And the other thing I did was sleep, which is a huge important thing. Um, I made sure I got at least seven hours of sleep, if not seven and a half to eight hours, which just meant going to bed earlier. Sleep is so important. 
What are my results? Well, I started off, as I said in the beginning, I'm 5'11", I started off at 204 pounds. After 30 days of a strict diet, workout, and lifestyle changing regimen, I dropped, I dropped 15 pounds. I ended up at 189 pounds. My height did not change, which I was a little disappointed with. So I dropped 15 pounds, 30 days by doing this. Fairly happy with myself. I'm proud of what I got out of it and um, pumped to go forward. Which brings me to my next point, going forward. This challenge was to see if doing a little extra would give me extra benefits, and it did. However, in my personal opinion, and I feel like a lot of people run into this too, it's not sustainable. I'm not gonna be able to, for the rest of whatever, cut out all these extra things and still remain happy. I'm not in a position, luckily, where I'm an obese person or someone who has negative health benefits because of my weight or whatever. This was more or less a challenge to myself to see if there's something else I could do. I'm fortunate because of that. Other people do not have that ability and they have to sustain these lifestyle changes for multiple months at a time. Um, regardless of where you stand, if you're curious of doing something like this, please consult a doctor beforehand. I am not a professional in any way. But yeah, so the sustainability was just not there for me specifically. For cheese alone, I wanted to eat some cheese. So if I'm cutting cheese out, that means that maybe I bring back dairy and I started eating a bunch of bowls of cereal because I fantasized about cereal because I love cereal so much. Going forward, so what is next for me? Well, my challenge was successful. I had dropped weight. I was very happy with that. Um, some of it might have been gained back re since then, but there was the aftermath of Thanksgiving, and there was Christmas, and there was just working at home more. So going forward, I will not stick to such a straight diet and all that, but I will continue to work out, of course, because, it, like I said, it, it benefits me mentally and physically. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. if you stuck around this far. Hopefully this video is only over for five minutes. I really didn't want to blab and blab forever and ever. So thank you for watching this far in the video. I appreciate your love. Always, if you're a returning person, thank you so much. If you're new to this channel and you just found this for some reason and you've gotten this far, please think about subscribing or at least liking the video or commenting uh, anything you'd like that. I'd really appreciate that. I'm going to go make some eggs for myself because I love me some eggs. So as I always say, later days.